Are you a master procrastinator? <laughs> Jill raises her hand. Well, many people are. And today, that was what we explored in our Thoughtfully Fit Gym free workout. We wanted to give you a little quick peek behind the scenes. If you missed the workout, if you saw it and you were intrigued and you wanted to attend, but you procrastinated and didn't put it on your calendar, we want to give you a little peek of what we shared in today's workout. So one of the workouts that we often do in the Thoughtfully Fit Gym is a core workout. And what we look at with a core workout is how do you engage your Thoughtfully Fit core, which is to pause, think, and to act. And so specifically for today's workout, how do you pause, think, and act when you are procrastinating? So that first step of pausing, the first thing that you need to be able to do is recognize what does it feel like or look like for you when you're procrastinating? Because you can't pause to procrastinate when you're procrastinating if you don't know what it looks like. And so a couple of things that I know it can look like for, for me is it, it can feel like my, my thoughts are just like literally churning in my brain. I can feel like the gears moving and it can feel somewhat overwhelming. From there, I get judgy and start wondering, why the heck did you put this off so long, Jill? Why, you know, not only now am I procrastinating, but I'm judging myself for procrastinating. And then Darcy, I know you wash floors. That's your squirrel. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? <laughs> it is my squirrel. I mean, if there's something I'm procrastinating, I don't want to do, man, my house is spotless. I clean those floors and they are fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever it looks like for you, when you think about, okay, what does it look like for me? Once you have that self-awareness, when you notice yourself procrastinating, that's when then you hit the pause button. You're washing and the floors, for instance. Yes, exactly. You might want to, I don't know, Darcy, you might want to finish the floors so you don't have half dirty floor, or half clean floor. But at least when you're washing the floors, you can then set yourself up to think. And that that's every time you engage your thoughtfully fit core. When you pause, it sets you up to think, not to continue down that thinking of rumination or judgment, but to, to think thoughtfully. And so one of the things that you can think about is, are you procrastinating or are you prioritizing? Darcy, how many times have you heard me say that I'm not procrastinating, I'm just prioritizing? <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. Sometimes we really are saying there's only so many hours in the day. I can't do this. So I'm moving this off. I also know for as many times as I say just that and mean it, I use it as an excuse. And so that there are some times where it's like, yeah, I'm prioritizing the crown on Netflix over <laughs> the thing that I really should be doing. Um, so recognizing, okay, if you're prioritizing, give, give yourself some grace, but also recognize if you're using that as an excuse. In the same way, recognize, are you percolating? And this isn't just for coffee. Sometimes when you have a big project, when you have a big task, when you're starting something new, not everything is super easy just to dive into and know where to start and what you have to do. Sometimes your brain does need to work on it. You need to um, noodle on it, marinate on it. And so again, that's not procrastination if, if you're thinking it through and, and letting it percolate a little bit. However, just like prioritizing, sometimes that percolating can turn it, you know, if we use the coffee metaphor, it's like the sludge at the bottom because it's percolated too long now and there's no water left. It's right. And that whatever fear, which we'll be getting into, the, the percolating is going on too long. And so Tim Peichel, he's, he, he just retired. He's a professor out of Canada. He created this procrastination research group, which is fascinating to me. And he defines procrastination as that gap between intention and action. And specifically, that procrastination is less about not knowing how to do a task and more about the emotion connected to a task. So more specifically, we look at the cycle of procrastination. There's some sort of stressful task, something that needs to get done. And then there's also a perceived threat. There's some sort of emotion, some sort of fear, anger, guilt, shame, what, overwhelm, whatever it might be. There's some sort of threat attached to that task. And so what do we do? We avoid that task because then we feel better, right? When you walk away from that threat, you, you feel better. You don't have- In to the short it. term. 
in the short term. Exactly, because unfortunately that task still exists. And so that's where it becomes this kind of vicious cycle. And so this is when you're thinking, what's the perceived threat? Be honest with yourself. Is there a fear? Am, am I nervous about disappointing? It might not be a threat like a bear in the woods, but it might be some nervousness, some anxiety, some, some fear of disappointing um, that you need to address. Perhaps it's not going to be perfect. And so you'd rather just not do it at all than have it not be perfect. Darcy, can you relate to that at all? I relate. <laughs> I resemble um, that. <laughs> maybe you're dreading the task. Maybe it just feels like there's not enough time. And so the more awareness you have about that task, the more then you can have an informed ability to decide what action or non-action you want to take. That gets us to the act. And specifically, if you're going to take the action, you're going to jump in, you're going to take that small step, are you going to work on it just a, a short amount of time? Sometimes, I mean, how often have you procrastinated a task for weeks and weeks and weeks, and then it takes you five minutes to complete? I hate that, when that happens. I'm like, why didn't I just do it weeks ago? And then I'd feel better in the last few weeks. Yeah, it wouldn't be percolating in that, in, 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 or, you know, bouncing around in your brain. And so sometimes that perceived threat is just that it's perceived. Once you actually get there, it's not that big of a threat, but the only way to, to get there is by taking that action. Or the other way to get out of that cycle is to commit to the non-action. Maybe not forever, right? Especially for some work tasks, maybe you can't eliminate them forever. But what you can do is if you wake up in the middle of the night and you notice that you're ruminating and kicking yourself for procrastinating, can you at least try to drop it out of your brain for a couple of hours to get some more sleep? Because if everything's important, nothing is. So this is about truly prioritizing and saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to choose to let that go and not worry about that right now. It's not a priority. I'm not procrastinating. I am making a choice to not work on it. So that was that was a very abbreviated version of the workout in today's um, Thoughtfully Fit Gym workout. Yeah, and when we're in the workout, you know, we're actually engaging and giving you a chance to work out your thoughts in your mind and be and you know connecting and sharing what's coming up for you. So if you are intrigued and things are coming up for you, type in the comments. Let us know what is this sparking for you. And if you're curious and want to know more about the Thoughtfully Fit Gym, we do two free workouts a month. We'd love to have you come and experience what it's like. We also give a virtual tour of the gyms. So you can see behind the scenes what it's like to have a supportive community and a place to go to work out your thoughts so that you can be more high performing and intentional and thoughtful in your life. We would love to see you. If you're curious, check out more at thoughtfullyfitgym.com. You can also sign up for our newsletter on darcyloma.com and we will be sure to send you links to the upcoming workouts. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Take care.